It's hard to embarrass Paris. Believe what you hear from me. She's seen all the French through so many a pinch for so many a bowl century. That novelty's rather scarce. She's seen all there is to see. For so long has she been fashion's capital town that she's seen every kind of galosha and gown. So with skirts going up or with skirts coming down, it's hard to embarrass Perry. It's hard to embarrass Paris with any romantic whim. She's not said a stir if you sing of a her or if you, as it were, sing a hymn. Her loveliest love affair is her passion for liberty. When you've seen all her moods, both her lights and her darks, when you've seen all her lovers parading in parks, when you've seen all her doves and especially her larks, it's hard to embarrass Perry. Everybody comes, everybody goes, everybody thumbs their collective nose, everyone is sure they're above L'Amour. But then they get so amorous, they almost drop their cameras. Bum, 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 bum. Her tourists seek variations unknown to their local laws. But lovers who think they must scurry and slink never make Paris blink just because mere human imaginations show little variety. There's no kind of naughtiness she hasn't known, but American Puritans turn her to stone. For if anyone ever should go home alone, then that would embarrass Perry. Paris loves the art, she's convivial, but her heart of hearts isn't trivial. Underneath her smile and her sense of style, the heart of Paris night and day beats with l'amour de liberté. Bum, 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 bum. You never will find a nation that sings so continuously. When armies appear, she tralas, oh my dear, and who is it this year conquering me? In sorrow or celebration, her bells peal a melody. After two thousand years of those dings and those dongs, after two thousand years of those rights and those wrongs, after two thousand years of those accordion songs, she plays both for pay and for free. How could you embarrass Paris?